Right, a brief um, lesson for people who've never used a multimeter before um, to test cables. If you have got one, you can buy these cheap from most electrical stores um, that sell components. And there are two sorts. Um, now there's a, a thing called a continuity test on this. and You'll know it if you get the kind that beeps. Once there's a circuit there, it makes a beeping noise. Um, so you switch it to the continuity test. Some of them don't beep, some of them just move from the, the, the single digit on the display to a zero to say that there's a um, a circuit, full circuit there and there's no resistance. Now the thing to do is, if you place one probe on the tip of the um, lead of the cable and the next probe on the chassis of the cable, as you can tell there's it's not um, making any noise, it's not changing the display from 1 to 0. But if I take the cable and grab the other end of it, like that, and just touch the tip so that there's a circuit there, as you can hear, that's fine. Uh, if I do the same on the, uh, on the shroud, that's doing it. But if you do it tip to shroud and it still does it, or like that, that means there's a short on it, which means that your guitar cable won't work. Um, the other thing you can do, if you're a bit more um, adept at using one of these, is just do a resistance test to see if um, there should be virtually zero resistance um, between the two tips. Um, if there is a large amount of resistance, then the odds are that the cable's probably um, damaged somewhere inside, or, or the... Uh, the end is damaged so you won't get a proper circuit and um, you'll always get some kind of resistance or breakup of the signal which means that your guitar won't sound as good as it should do.